sun, sea and fish and chips. It's the place where the modern package holiday was invented. But does it really need protecting for future generations? Hello, welcome to The Travel Show with me, Adia Depitan. This week, we're in the package holiday resort of Benidorm, and sometimes this part of Spain can feel more British than Blackpool or Brighton, and it's been providing holiday makers with sun, fun, bingo, and pub calls for decades. But believe it or not, there is an application to get Benidorm recognized as a World Heritage Site, along with the Great Wall of China and the Pyramids of Egypt. Hey, don't go anywhere because in a moment I'm going to see if this place has got what it takes to get on that list. But first of all, here's what else is coming up on today's show. Benidorm claims to be one of the largest holiday resorts in the world. Open all year round, it draws mainly British holiday makers and those from other European countries such as Germany and Denmark. The sunshine here is part of what makes it one of the most popular destinations in the Mediterranean. But it also has a unique microclimate created by its surrounding hills and mountains. This seaside resort on the Costa Blanca grew from a sleepy fishing village with just 3,000 inhabitants back in the 1960s to a metropolis of high-rise apartments and hotels. Tourism is its main industry and city officials here are banking on this to help propel Benidorm into the realms of UNESCO World Heritage status. Spain already boasts more than 40 heritage sites, ranging from the pilgrimage route of Santiago de Compostela and the Paleolithic rock art filled caves at Altamira and the historic city of Toledo. So, can Benidorm even compare? After all, it's built up a bit of a tarnished reputation and is typically known for its stag and hen parties. Some critics say there's nothing UNESCO about this place. You were sad. This is one part of Benidorm, but it's not everything. The good thing of Benidorm is that you have everything in the same place. So if you want to have fiesta and you want to come for, for fiesta, you have it all year round. If you want to, have, to come with family, you have leisure for family and your family doesn't see uh, these people having fiesta. If you want to go for making a sport, you have everything in the same place. And there is one Benidorm for each people that want to come. How can Benidorm compare to um, other UNESCO sites such as the Great Wall of China or Victoria Falls in, in Zimbabwe or the Pyramids of Egypt? Yeah, sure, because you are, you are used for years and years that, that from the UNESCO was uh, done that it was monuments, but we want to to have it because if it will be possible, we will uh, show to the world that the model of Venidorm is a good model, is a very sustainable model for the tourism uh, and, and this is very important from other places. Officials want Benidorm to be a destination recognized as one of the only cities in the world that has managed to make sun and sand vacations accessible to all. To make it onto the World Heritage List, sites must be of outstanding universal value and meet at least one of the 10 selection criteria. The list includes things like amazing architectural landscapes or areas of exceptional natural beauty. Benidorm is undeniably a cheerful and cosmopolitan holiday resort, bulging with nightclubs, bars, pubs and mini golf courses. The main thing about Benidorm, you can get any holiday you want. If you want a quiet holiday with you and your wife, if you want to go and get absolutely, what's your name, faced <laughs> in a certain part, you can do it. I've been to maybe 15 different resorts around Spain over the years, and this is by far the best. I don't know what it is, it's just amazing. Yeah. 
And although Benidorm is better known for its package holiday crowds and perma sunshine than its cuisine, determined foodies holidaying here can still salvage some authentic food. Tucked away in the old town is Tapas Alley. For those who like the fun of new eating experiences, here they serve up all those small traditional Spanish snacks. A side of Benidorm I wasn't expecting to see. Benidorm's full of surprises and I think I'm about to get one. Oh, hello, what are you lot doing in here? Hello. <laughs> What are you doing here? Don't you know you should not before you come into a lady's dressing room? <laughs> you two are going to be in trouble, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> this show bar in the centre of Benidorm's old town is very popular. You all look gorgeous, I am for your teacher. Gary Brown spent 10 years working as a nurse in the UK before deciding he'd had enough and jetted off to Spain to become a drag queen. I think a lot of people have this preconceived idea of Benidorm, but they tend to be the people that have never been. It can almost be, a, you know, a bit of a snobby thing where people think, oh, Benidorm, I, well, I want to go there. Do you know what I mean? But they've never been. I say, well, have you ever been? No. I say, well, you can't criticise till you've, you've been. So did you know that Benidorm is applying for UNESCO World Heritage status? Yeah, I think it should, because, it, as I say, it's got something for everybody here. A lot, of play, a lot of other destinations don't have that to offer. It's either one thing or another. Are you all having a good time? Yeah. More importantly, are you ready to be entertained? Yeah. Well, please put your hands together and make some noise for the one and only Jordan Rivers and Miss Shay! The idea to apply for UNESCO World Heritage status is still in its early stages and could take up to six years before Benidorm finds out if it's achieved the much desired UNESCO crown. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see if it's deserving of such a title. And here's our list of other surprising destinations that already have UNESCO World Heritage status. Added to the World Heritage list back in 2010, Turkish oil wrestling. That's right, Turkish oil wrestling. The sport actually dates back to the 14th century. The task of oiling up the wrestlers is assigned to a special assistant, while a second is designated as the official towel holder. Most Turkish oil wrestling festivals take place during the months of June, July and August. Believe it or not, 2010 also saw Croatian gingerbread making inducted onto the list of World Heritage Sites. The craft actually dates back to the 17th century. Bakers produce gingerbread in different shapes, including hearts, horses, slippers, clocks and stars, and adorn them with elaborate motifs and decorations. In the same year, Luxembourg's hopping procession was added to the World Heritage List. A centuries-old religious ritual, events take place all over Luxembourg during Whit Tuesday, a Christian holiday celebrated the day after Pentecost Monday. So get hopping. And finally, the chant of the Sibyl in Mallorca also made the list five years ago. The chant marks the annual Christmas vigil and is performed on the night of the 24th of December in churches throughout Mallorca. Time now to find out what else is going on around the world. Here's your travel update. This week brought to you by Krista.